Anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. A N X I E T Y. For some of you, just that word generates more anxiety. You see, we have things all around us every day that can cause us anxiety. Sometimes it's just a normal day with the hassles of everyday living that can cause us to be anxious. But what does anxiety do to us? It can steal our ability to enjoy friends and family. It can even cause health problems, high blood pressure, stomach problems, even heart attacks. It can even lead to panic attacks and other ailments. But how do we handle anxiety? Or do we allow anxiety to handle us? Sure, there's going to be things that are going to challenge us. There are going to be things that we encounter that are really stressful. There's going to be conflicts in the home. There's going to be conflicts at school. There's going to be conflicts on the job but we don't have to let them produce anxiety inside of our lives. I always want to challenge people and as I challenge myself, says, where is this anxiety coming from? And we know it's coming from the inside and that's where the problem lies on the inside but it is usually stimulated from something on the outside. When we're talking about the daily hassles of life, we take those in through our eyes or through our ears and we take them inside and then there's things that process, it processes inside of us. Most of the time are attached to things that have happened in our past. But why do we allow things from our past to affect us in our present day? Because whatever the source is that causes anxiety for us, it serves no good purpose. I don't know about you, but time seems to be going by so fast. It just seems like the other day we were saying Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And now we are in the first day of the second day of February. Time goes by so fast and life is too short to be stressed out, have all this anxiety and just being robbed of the peace that God has for us. Let's look at Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses six and seven, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now, let's look at that. Now, if you're struggling with anxiety, you should have this passage of scripture memorized. And if you do not have it memorized, I suggest that you write it down and that you put it in your pocket or wherever you can put it. It could be on the desk, it could be on the refrigerator, but you want to have this verse inside of your heart. Like the psalmist wrote, I have laid your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. We have to get that inside of our heart, our mind, deep down, rooted, because when we have it there, 
that is going to help us in our everyday life. Because when you look at Jesus and he was being tempted by the devil, what did he use? He used the word of God. And the word of God is just not for when you have a certain thing going on like anxiety. It's about our everyday life. We want to be in God's word every day. We want to be putting things, storing things up. Here's an example. You go to the bank and you go to get some money out and you get there and you give the teller your information and they look in your bank account and it's on all zeros. What do you expect to get from that bank? Well, people will go ahead and get a loan. That is not helping your problem. Just like spiritually, if you are spiritually bankrupt, there's nothing that you are putting in and you want to borrow from different things, whether it's getting on social media, whether it's gossiping, whether it's lying, whether it's complaining, and you spend your time in thinking that is going to give you a return? Absolutely not. What I want to encourage you to do, as God encourages us to do, is to spend time with Jesus. Now, get a pen, a piece of paper, and write down the source of your anxiety. Write it down. Write it down. And identify what is going on. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so very much for blessing us with this opportunity. And anxiety is real. Even in my own life, it is real. So help me, Father, to present this in a way that will help others because I know so many people struggle and they are paralyzed and so many people leave planet Earth because they have allowed their anxiety to get the best of them. So help us, Father. We need you. In Jesus' holy name that we pray. Amen.